During the application of thermotherapy, various physiological effects occur based on the physical changes within tissue. Superficial heat applications, such as a hot pack, must be capable of increasing tissue temperatures from 104 to 113 in order to produce physiological effects. A physical transfer of heat occurs through conduction, where the modality loses heat to the environment and the tissues gain heat as shown. This increase in tissue temperature causes vascular dilation, which increases the delivery of oxygen, nutrients, and antibodies which allow for healing to occur. Besides vasodilation, heat application will cause an increase in cell metabolism by increasing molecular vibration. In addition, for every 18 degrees of increased skin temperature, the cell's metabolic rate increases by a factor of two to three times. Furthermore, increased cell metabolism causes increased capillary flow, which leads to increased venous return, thus forcing edema and harmful metabolites from the injured area. In turn, this increases lymphatic permeability, which aids in recovery by decreasing the formation of edema. Thermotherapy has a pronounced effect on pain control. Increasing circulation, as explained, will decrease the congestion in the injured area and assists in removing the pain-producing chemicals at the injury site. Finally, analgesia occurs through sedation. Heat will stimulate nerve endings, blocking the transmission of pain during the treatment.